Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all well and in good spirits. We're going to have a look at mandatory experiments number three, and this is the iodination of propanone. Uh, propanone, we're doing the shorthand version here, um, otherwise known as acetone. If we wrote out the full structure, H3C, C double bond O, C H3. Two lone pairs of electrons on the oxygen, which you should be doing by now instinctively, if not in your sleep. Uh, we're getting uh, attack by the lone pair of electrons onto the proton, which comes from the acid catalyst. Doesn't matter which acid you use, Bronsted Larry definition, don uh, proton donor to solution. We're going to protonate this lone pair of electrons through dative covalent bonding. DCB, dative covalent bonding, both electrons coming from one of the uh, atoms, not one from each. Of course, that means that this proton here has now conferred a formal positive charge on the oxygen. This is unstable and will fall apart. So here we have our hydroxyl group, but to a double bond O. Oxygen has been forced into a plus one formal charge, so it's a very unhappy bunny. How is it going to solve this problem? This, this electron pair from here, from the pi bond, is going to move up to the oxygen, leaving a single bond, which becomes here. But the hydrogen here, to make sure that this is a concerted mechanism, comes into this single bond here to make a double bond. Here we now have an enol and the proton is liberated, hence this is catalytic regeneration of the catalyst in the second step. Finally, we now have a double bond, which is electron rich. We have a sigma bond and a pi bond. The iodine, which is obviously a perfectly symmetrical uh, molecule, is going to be disturbed in terms of its electron density. That's going to push away. That's going to get slightly negative on this side, slightly positive here, so it can come into attack. We attack on the end and we form our iodine here, which has been uh, uh, the iodinated uh, of propanone. Uh, the, obviously, one of the iodines has gone. I minus is liberated and the H plus came from here. We have regenerated our catalyst. This is above and beyond the needs of uh, IB chemistry. But if you think of doing this as an IA, what are the perfect way to make it uh, personally engaging and show your exploration? Um, this practical is an honest uh, account of what happened when I did the practical, which you're about to see now. So here's the bit you've all been waiting for. This is to do with the uh, actual raw data results that I found, hopefully you saw on the video. Let's have a quick look. This is the table. I will append as a bitly the PDF, which I'm talking about here, um, to the, the YouTube video. This is the raw data, average time, consistent decimal places, consistent decimal places, uh, legends in the header. That should be familiar territory for you now. Um, because these all add up to 50, that's a control variable. And this, let's have a look at the iodine. The iodine, where are we? The iodine is here, so there's 10. So there's 10 in 50, which is one fifth. So I need to divide all of my concentration terms by a fifth, because that's a dilution factor exemplar here. So my propanone concentrations, I kept the same for one, two, and four, and doubled in three. Acid, I kept the same for one, three, and four, doubled in two. And iodine, I kept the same for one, two, and three, and doubled in four. What can we see? Well, if we go from one, uh, we doubled the acid here, 0 0.2, 0 0.4. We've roughly, we've got 1.6, we've almost doubled the rate. So times two, the concentration, times two-ish, the rates. Don't forget, this is just a school laboratory. Um, what else can we see? Let's have a look at the propanone. Propanone is here. 
uh, 0 0.8, 1.6, that's the same, that's the same, that's the same, that's the same. And 0 0.8, 1.4, that tends to the minus 5, that's doubled almost perfectly. Wow. Go school glassware. <laughs> and then uh, which one do we need to look at at the end? We need to have a look at the iodine. So that's gone 0, 1, 0, 2, 6.8, 10 to the minus 6, 6.6, 6, 10 to the minus 6. So we doubled it and it's had no effect. So that's going to be zero order with respect to the iodine, first with respect to the acid, and first with respect to the propanone. A beautiful result. Um, many, many errors are in here, mostly judging the endpoints. Don't forget those two beakers which I showed you at the beginning. Um, what use is this? Well, I can do the rate expression now. Rate is a constant times the concentration of acetone times the concentration of acid. All rate laws come from experiment. This is what I've just done. I can rearrange for K and I can substitute in for the first value, the first row of data, which is here. Plug the numbers in and I get a value for the rate constant of 1.7 by 10 to the minus 6. Literature is 2.3 by 10 to the minus 4. It is an order of, of magnitude uh, less, it's, it's a power of 10 less, but you know, at that number of decimal places, I rest quite happy with that little experiment. Um, there's the data, have a go yourself, see what you get. Thanks very much for listening. Uh, like, comment, subscribe at the bottom. Thank you very much.